Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Scorpio, this is your next 24 hours reading. And also, let's pick up a full moon. Full moon, su full super moon. <laughs> super full moon. <laughs> so, this is for the Scorpio family. Let's see what's coming towards you guys. <laughs> what is happening towards Scorpio? What is the full moon reading? What is the next 24 hours reading for you? Let's pick up love, career, finance, and general situation for you, Scorpio, okay? And of course, guys, you know what to do. All of the details is down in the description box below. Um, I'm still recovering from... Um, ooh, look at that death card. From feeling unwell. So please bear with me, with my voice. And... Um, yeah, where's my water? <coughs> okay, sorry. So, Scorpio, let's do some energy check-in for you first, okay? And then we'll go to the full moon. Oh, Empress card. Looking pretty, Scorpio. Okay. Justice card. Mm. Two of Wands. You know, with the Empress card, the Justice card... The two of wands. And there's a full moon in here. There's a moon. You're holding the moon, Scorpio. Um, I feel like this energy check in Scorpio, it's more of, it's kind of telling me that um, you, like you are in a place where it's going to get better. Okay. You're entering a cycle. I feel very futuristic about the Empress card, the Justice card, the Two of Wands. It makes me feel like this is a, I don't know, but I'm really hearing, with the Empress card in here, I'm hearing, you know, that I think it was a show. And it was one of the Kardashian, um, Chloe Kardashian, yeah, where she said, revenge buddy. Like, you don't want to really have a revenge to anybody, but like, revenge buddy. So the Empress card, the Justice card, you're going to glow. <laughs> um, it's it's very twelve ones. It looks like a I don't know, but there's something about beauty, wellness that you would get your power back by being so beautiful, so handsome. You know, you won't think of anything in the next couple of weeks. Let's say a month. Two months. I'm saying two months. For some of you, up until September, you're just going to glow. Empress card. You're going to prove to the world that I am a Scorpio. I could really take back my power and full control of how I want to look in and out and manifest the good vibe, the person, the situation I want. So... In here, it seems to be energy checked in. You've got this amazing plan about how to be beautiful inner and outer. You want to glow up. You want to look you want to look like the best version of yourself, you know. Um, yeah, very soon, like you've got this amazing feeling that I want to feel great. I want to feel the best. I want to experience the best. I want to feel great. I want to feel good. You want the best for yourself with the Empress card in here. Like Justice card, Empress card. You want to fall in love with your life. You want to fall in love with yourself. The Justice card. You want to justify to yourself that you deserve the best. And you're going to start two of ones planning. How do I treat myself to feel the best by taking care of myself, by connecting to myself, by understanding myself, by making myself a priority. You know, it might sound corny, you know, like self-love, you know, self-awareness. It is very, very helpful because if you know yourself, you are in control of what will you say, what will you do, and how you're going to project yourself in the world, in the universe. So if you know yourself, you will be able to project yourself, your feelings, in such a way that it's positive, 
Even though you don't feel good, if you can control your thoughts or feelings, you can project that not so good feelings in something diplomatic. And if that's the case, you will be understood. Okay? Because relationship, um, whether it's a partnership, it's a situationship, a one-on-one -on -one relationship, we we have different body language. We have different language for for some of us. So it's always that miscommunication, misconception. So you are going to synchronize everything about how you look, how you talk, how you feel. You're going to perfectly present that, project that properly. If you're angry, you won't present angry that is low vibe. You would present your feeling of being angry in a proper way because you want to be understood. You want your point to be taken. If you're jealous, you would present your argument in a way, why do I feel jealous? Because this way, this way, this way. If you don't like something because you have self-love, self-awareness, you know yourself, you can control that trigger, that impulsiveness. So you are really tapping into the best mature version of you. You're going to develop that. Empress card, okay? In the next six months, the new cycle for you, it's going to be a different version that you would like to present yourself to the world. And that starts by understanding yourself, by taking care of yourself. Mind you, Scorpio, Empress card in here, it looks like the Empress card, your hobby, your beauty regime, the way you talk, whatever you watch, it's, it's different now. You know, it's different now. There are some things that you change. You change, you know. You have changed, Scorpio. You have changed because you've experienced hurt or pain or betrayal. And you rise from that, you know, like a phoenix. You rise from the ashes. You also experience good stuff, happiness, adventure, experiences, good and bad stuff. It makes you different. And you want different stuff. And you're going to explore that with the Empress card, the Justice card, the Two of Wands. So, yeah, there's a lot of you to discover about yourself. Yeah, really nice. So, there's a lot of focus about you in the next six months. Your new cycle is about you. You're going to justify that you need to spend and invest to yourself. Because yourself is, is, is your life. Your body is a wonderland, Scorpio. There's a lot of emphasis about that. So, so that's an energy checked in. Let's see what is coming towards your new cycle. Full moon reading as well. Let's start with the full moon reading. Two of swords. Full moon, the super full moon, is about a culmination of something. Something that you somehow need to change, need to release. It's a, I find it as a highlight, as a... Tipping point, Scorpio. Yeah, Ten of Wands. And the Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, um, it's looking like Scorpio. Two of Swords, Ten of Wands. With the Two of Swords, as the something that you hesitate, Two of Swords, your mind is telling you to kind of slow down with something connected to money. With something connected to productivity, um, how you care. You put too much care into other people. That needs to change. Ten of Wands, you're putting a lot of your energy taking care of other people. And maybe you're not aware that you spend so much with this energy. That you spend time so much looking after other people's happiness, other people's stuff, other people's workload, and you're forgetting you. Okay? Ten of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. And you even hesitate to drop this attitude. Like you have developed this habit or hobby to, I don't know, people please. Or you tend to do them first. Do you and then them. Whoever it is, you got to prioritize yourself. As selfish as it might sound, you first. You matter. You know, you're special. So, 
Ten of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, you need to wake up and have a shake up with your conversation to yourself. The Ten of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Maybe it's time for you to release a mindset, a thinking process that they have to be prioritized. They have, you have to give this, you have to please this, you have to do that. No, in this reading, there's a strong emphasis to be Empress card, to prioritize. This time, it's going to be you. Yeah. Most especially with money, investing to yourself with money, productivity. Um, also saying no, then of once, saying no to people who always want you and then when they don't need you, they forget about you. Okay. It's pretty much the same message, like it's synchronized. Okay, now, Scorpio, let's move. Ooh, you got a Ten of Cups. Wow. Let's take that back. Okay. Now, Scorpio, let's move towards what's coming towards you. Okay. But who is or what opportunity is going to present to you? New cycle. A new cycle for Scorpio. Who's coming towards you? What are the opportunities that's going to be presented to you, Scorpio? <clears throat> Well, unfortunately, um, you know, there is someone in the past. It's too late. I feel like it's too late for them. Yeah. There is someone in the past that would return at the end of this year. At the end of this year... You have already moved on. This person bended me wanting to return in your life. Yeah, it's an ex. But you're like, I don't know what to do with you, but you move on. When this happened, your life has turned into a 360 turn of event when you release this person. You release them already. You're moving on. You're on to you. Onto a new journey. You have crossed path already with this person. You have given them already a lot of time. You waited. And right now, it seems to be your new cycle, Scorpio, is a game changer. Um, you're going to be presented with a lot of opportunities that will allow you to forget this person. Sometime around October, November, this person will show up. And you'll be shocked that they're here around that time and they're begging like look at that look at that you know let's see like it's a bit dramatic and emotional when this person shows up in your life and hangman you don't know what to say you've moved on you've completely moved on yeah three of swords Yeah, it's dramatic, whoever this person is. Yeah. So I feel like this is where you say no. In the new cycle, um, you will never allow this person to be near with you again. Yeah. You are in full force. You, you feel complete already when this person comes back. And I'm so sorry for this person, Scorpio. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. So keep on going, Scorpio. Because those person, those people who you feel like, I'm not going to be able to forget you. That's not true. If you set your mind to forget and forgive and release and focus yourself on exploring, developing, you definitely will forget this person who or whoever hurt you this bad. You know, in this life, there will be times that we will be the most important person to somebody. But like a will of fortune, it doesn't last all the time. So at one point, you were the most important person, you know, important person to them. But they, pe people change, things change. The reason would be exponential, you know, it's di different from each one of us. But with this one, I feel like you will be able to move on. You're moving on right now. You're getting stronger. 
Yeah, you're getting stronger. You're getting stronger, Scorpio. Let's see what else. <clears throat> yeah. Page of Cups. You know, for some of you, you might get like a back-to-back -back blessing. You would be in a relationship and right away you will start a family. Yeah, Queen of Swords. And Eight of Swords. What's the Eight of Swords for Scorpio? Nine of Cups. I feel like in the beginning, you're quite scared of having like a relationship. And it's so early. You were pregnant or you have a family. But you're the Queen of Swords. You are very um, intelligent and smart. And you would be able to juggle the unexpected blessing, baby. You might get... Or there's something a baby like. There's a... There is a something that you would like you know you would have an amazing relationship and then you would have a baby or for some of you you might have two blessings this year like two things at the same time two amazing um two amazing things at the same time and you're kind of scared eight of swords how to manage it so don't freak out like you might panic nine of cups relax this was given to you because you deserve it. This feels good, Scorpio. The last quarter of this year is looking rock and roll, Scorpio. Mm. So plant the seed now. You know, August, September. Plant the seed about you. About you. And exploring every opportunity that comes your way. Be opening your heart, your mind to where, to where the universe is taking you. You know, open your heart, your mind to where the universe is taking you. Stepping out of your comfort zone. Not looking back. No more looking back, Scorpio. Let's see. Yeah, I told you guys. You've got a king of wands. And let's see. There is something that dropped on the floor. Okay, I have to turn. And, <clears throat> and okay. And you have the King of Wands and an Ace of Cups. I told you guys. Unexpected lover and an Ace of Cups is here for you. So what's coming towards you, I really feel like it's more of the last quarter of this year. You will have a new love and then you will be engaged and you will have baby. So you have a new love, like maybe two or three months and then unexpected, possibly baby. And then they will propose and then you're going to get married. So like a whirlwind romance, King of Wands. And it's not a hook up. I'm really being told that it's not a hook up. Like it looks like a hook. The, the you know, the this King of Wands, it's going, it has a tight grip with you, Scorpio. Like, you know, it has a strong hold. That's why I probably have the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Cups. That, okay, am I ready for this? Go. Go. It feels good. It looks good. Go for it. Two cards and yeah oh my god scorpio oh my god scorpio look at that ten of pentacles and the king of swords so this person who you would have a relationship very passionate so passionate that you would unexpectedly have a baby and then this person or you guys will talk about unexpected marriage all at the same time happening within Within three to four months of the relationship, it will happen so quick. Don't be scared. Don't don't panic. Don't be scared. Because this king of wands was very passionate. They would upgrade to be a king of swords. So they will really take care of you. They will be responsible. They will be mature. And they have money. Scorpio. This is a very beautiful reading. Okay. It's going to happen for you, Scorpio. So, Scorpio, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I will see you soon again, guys. It's been a pleasure doing this reading to you. Sorry, my voice is still sounding a bit sick, but I'm getting better. And I'm happy full moon. I will see you soon again, guys. And, yeah, I'm just waiting for this video to... I couldn't find the end button. Where is the end button? This is a new phone. I'd say new camera. Um, 
Okay, bye guys.